I think what's going on here, there's a bunch of issues that were particular to Credit Suisse. They've had a series of scandals and compliance issues and exec changes over the past few years. But there is a common pattern here with what's happening in the U.S. banking system, which is these banks are under tremendous stress right now. And if there's weaknesses of these banks, they're getting flushed out and exposed and deposits are leaving the system very quickly, causing these banks to be imperiled and then potentially creating the risk of the next cascading failure because all these banks are sort of interlinked and this is where you get sort of systemic risk. So what is causing this stress? I would posit that the reason for the stress is that we've had this rate tightening cycle for the last year. It's the fastest time that uh, interest rates have been hiked by the Fed in our entire lifetimes. And what caused that? It was the worst inflation in 40 years. So this is basically what is putting tremendous stress in the whole banking system is that rates have gone up so violently and so suddenly that deposits are leaving because they're going to other alternatives like money market funds, but also assets on the books that were supposed to be safe, like long dated bonds, T-bills, mortgage bonds, all of a sudden they've become toxic assets. They were supposed to be safe assets. Now they're basically toxic. And I think that everybody's trying to understand how deep this problem goes. And it's good in a sense that, you know, whether it's the Swiss government or the Fed is kind of taking steps to intervene and prevent a total run on the banks, I think that's good. But the problem is we've had such bad Fed policy for the last number of years now that it's entirely too little too late.